Marie from Divine Visions. I'm bringing you your Twin Flame Soulmate reading for November. This is for you, those of you who are in a new connection. Could be that you've been a few days into it, a few months, could be a year even. It feels new for you. And there may be this um, real innocence to this, like, you know, getting to know one another and, and really kind of um, going slowly into this. Some of you might be going into it fast. Whatever it is, whatever your connection is, you know, whether you've had some lessons come up already or some growth in this connection, whatever it is, it feels new for you. So this is the right kind of reading for you if that, if you resonate with that. I'm working with the divine feminine, divine masculine energies. We all have that within ourselves, that duality. But whatever you identify yourself with the most will be, you know, what you uh, resonate with, with the cards here in the reading. So we're going to start off with the divine masculine. And we're going to have a look at what's going on just with his current energy, etc. What's happening for him in his life. We've got this card just fly out right now. It's new beginnings. So this is quite interesting. The full card represents stepping out into the world and taking, um, you know, jumping in, taking a risk, moving forward um, into a direction of uh, perhaps happiness, you know, in this, connect in this um, connection right now. Let's have a look at what else is going on. They do want to throw themselves out. All right. Divine Masculine, what's going on with you? Let's have a look at the theme first up. I just want to see the Divine Masculine's main theme for this month. Okay, we don't want that many. Just one will be great. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> did come out reversed guys so rest and rejuvenation 19 this this so interesting because the one is an independent number it talks about an individual and you know you've got well it was one person that's solo then we've got number nine which can represent um solitude so also um representing was it one and nine is ten so it reduces down to a one once again um, so this Divine Masculine really needs to rest and recover at the moment from any outside, uh, emo you know, what am I saying? Outside ex uh, circumstances, anything that's external from him that's causing him grief or um, if it's toxic or whatever it is, whatever it is for this Divine Masculine right now, whether it be anxiety or stress around him or having to make a decision in something, he needs to take time out because being reversed, it shows that he's just on the go, go, go and he's not allowing himself to just be still. So that's a main theme for this divine masculine right now. His main current energy is that <clears throat> he might be rushing into this as well. So uh, this is something he needs to just, um, you know, remind himself of that he does need to just take it slow for some of you you'll resonate with that um, otherwise it just means that he has to take some time out for himself to really perhaps heal his mind heal his uh, energy recover his energy um, from something that may have been stressful for him so let's have a look at his current energy might be some health issues there for this divine masculine so sometimes the body will send out alarms you know uh, send out signals to to us to show us that there's something that needs to be taken care of and so this divine masculine may get to a point where he's just burning out so he has to be careful now oh, that one <clears throat> okay. All right, just want to... Yeah, it's okay. So the first one is Prosperity Begins, which is interesting because the New Beginnings came out before um, with the full card that flew out before. And so we're looking at the new path here, finding that uh, perhaps it's a new career or a new job path that he wants to go into or he's trying to... Um, set out a, like a new path for his own investments, his own security with money. Um, so he definitely wants to lay down a strong foundation, even in this relationship. That's something that I'm seeing there in the material world that he's doing. He really wants to, he's already planted the seed. So you guys are pretty much like, um, you know, the, the seed's been planted basically and you guys are starting to blossom and bloom. 
Um, so it's the beginning of something. It's the beginning of um, this really cool pathway where the strong foundations are laid down. It's kind of like the boundaries are being laid down as well. So his current energy right now is that he does need to ground his energy. We do see that he needs to withdraw and rejuvenate and rest, etc. Um, so he does definitely need to ground his energy. And look at his abundance around him. Um, it feels to me that this divine masculine may either close off from people in a negative way. So he might withdraw and really just be in his mind. And instead of withdrawing and meditating and contemplating on a situation in a healthy way, he may be too much in his mind. Um, and he's trying to ground his energy here. So it does look to me that being this card here, number two, straight after... In the same, uh, this is the same one that goes straight after this one. We're looking at uh, movement choices, decisions. So he is moving into this. I do feel it's a, it's a very um, good thing for him. So he will come out of this rut that he's in. He will take time out. It does feel, but when looking at this, that there is going to be a um, a decision made to move forward. Okay, to move forward, perhaps towards the divine feminine. Um, it's moving forward to a light-hearted kind of energy here. So rejoicing in celebration. Um, it does feel to me that he he's seeing a lot of opportunities for himself through this connection as well with the Divine Feminine, and he feels pretty sure about this connection because he's pretty grounded in this as well. Um, so he might be putting his all into this, all energy into this right now, even in his mind, his heart space, everything, and maybe confusing himself or maybe, well, not so much confusing himself because he's pretty sure here what he wants to do. Um, but what I see is that, you know, being in the friendship zone here too, it feels to me that he wants to solidify this friendship zone with the divine feminine as well. Because um, we're talking about grounding energy here, planting the seed, something firm in the ground, something cemented, a strong foundation to be able to move forward and to have this celebration and friendship and networking with the Divine Feminine. That's what I see there. But this could also be his uh, career life, you know, his uh, friendship circles as well, where he's pretty grounded in himself and doesn't just rush into everything if there's a big decision to make. So it feels to me that this divine masculine still needs to be able to sit down and contemplate on something and really um, work out where he stands in a situation um, within himself. That's the theme for him this, this, um, this month. He might be too focused or invested in one particular area and needs a bit of balance in his life now. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, he's, he's doing this. He's getting back on his feet. We see Sacrifice the Hanged Man reversed. So this is a significant card. And so what this represents is that he has to make a lot of sacrifices um, in order to get what he wants to do, in order to fulfill the goals that he wants to in his life, even moving forward at a beginning level, you know, at the beginning stage. He, still, he knows that he still needs to uh, sacrifice some things in his life. So it's about being able to know what to let go of and what to bring in. So there's definitely something he needs to let go of here. And then we've got the solar plexus chakra, which is so interesting because this is the energy. The, the solar plexus is the willpower. It's our energy center within ourself. And right now, you know, he might be finding that his energy is being, like he's being burnt out by other things around him, even though he knows where he wants to go and he's about to embark on this journey and he's feeling these things with the divine feminine, even in his own circles, um, feeling quite good in himself. He's still burning out a little bit, maybe making too many sacrifices. So he just has to watch that. And solitude might be hard for him to go into this place of solitude right now. As we're saying, it's the same kind of energy as this one, resting and rejuvenating in a place of solitude, being reversed, solitude. So this is the Virgo energy as well. It could definitely be a Virgo divine masculine that we're talking about here. Um, doesn't have to be, but that's just a significant message. Um, so solitude's really important for this divine masculine. He might be finding it really hard to come out from a place of solitude as well. Maybe he's being he's stuck in it. Maybe there's some part of him that wants to move forward and has to take it very slowly. Um, because if he doesn't, he's going to burn himself out and maybe make the wrong choice. So he's trying to be very careful at this time, I feel. Um, let's have a look at what this might be around for him. Hang on. <clears throat> oh, hang on. <laughs> so many cards here. All right. So 
So very soon, clearly decide what you want. So there's a decision he has to make so that it comes to you now. So he's in a place of wanting to move forward. He's grounded something in. He's moving forward or about to embark on that journey. Um, and it does feel it's to do with the divine feminine. I mean, we are talking about this reading about the the love connection here. So it's saying he clearly decides what he wants so that he can, so that it can come to him now. So he's about to very very shortly, I feel very soon, about to embark on a journey towards the divine feminine. It's a, it's kind of like once he makes his mind up that it's the real deal and he wants to commit to this, then he will move forward. That's what it feels like. He's still working it out how he uh, feels about it um, <clears throat> and knows that he's got to make a fair bit of sacrifices in order to commit to this. Um, so let's have a look then at, uh, let's have a look at how he's perceiving the divine feminine right now. Okay. All right, this is really interesting. So how he's perceiving the divine feminine right now is that she this is the sun card. So this is explaining um that he sees her her light, he sees her light. But being reversed too, it may be that she's not shining it so brightly. So he it might be a dim light. It might be less bright than it normally would be. She's got a youthful side to her as well. Um, but it's interesting because there's so many significant cards in this deck. There's like three, three major arcanas in here. So it's pretty significant what he sees her as. He sees her as balanced. He sees that being the justice card with uh, Libran, it could be a Libran or a Leo um, that he's looking at here, Wheel of Fortune, that her destiny is changing towards something really good here. I'm going to have a look at that in a moment. But what he sees is that she's pretty sure of where she's going. She has balance in her life. There's equality within her. There's fairness within her. She's a person that, because we've got the sword of truth here, uh, somebody that really stands in their power of truth, someone who's uh, really into the justice side of things in life, uh, someone who wants to bring light to a situation and get to know the truth. So I would say that he sees her as very transparent here, very transparent, someone who is strong in her own self, um, self-assured, somebody who's also balanced in partnerships, someone who brings in harmony and um, cooperation is a word I'm getting there um, also, someone who's intuitive, someone who seems to sit back and really um, illuminate situations that um, need to, to be, uh, what am I saying there, need to be brought to justice kind of thing. It's really interesting because this is the justice card. Um, kind of unveils she unveils the truth she doesn't muck around with um, bringing the truth to something um, so so let's see what this is about here oh that's interesting it seems that she has this light that he can see but she's still not confident really confident in bringing it forward like letting her light shine she might not necessarily like the spotlight so much. But coming into this balance here, he sees that she's very balanced, very strong. She's moving forward. Her destiny is changing for the good, I feel, here. Even though this is reversed. I mean, that's good this is reversed because this normally represents discontentment and boredom. And it's about somebody who's just emotionally, um, well, I was going to say fragile. I mean, they could be. But it's also somebody who just doesn't know where they're going. They're feeling really lost um, emotionally, but he, I feel that he sees that she can get like this. She's not seeing her own light. She might be too busy, worried about the world. This is a humanitarian as well, worried about what's going on on the outside of the world, um, suffering in silence. So there's definitely something he sees that she's dealing with on an emotional level. Maybe it's been some past stuff for her that she's trying to work through um, because he does see that perhaps also for some of you, this could be um, a divine feminine who's going through some legal battles right now, um, financially, um, whatever it is, there's something going on um, with this divine feminine where she's feeling like she's not confident in shining her light and coming forward uh, in a situation as well. So he sees that she is suffering in silence. There is this stuff to still sort out in her life um, and that she is going to overcome the obstacles and challenges though. 
So it's almost like he sees how strong she is and she's got this, uh, uh, what is it, determination to make things right and to, to turn that wheel of destiny towards the better. So that's how he's seeing her. I just want to see what that's to do with, or, you know, whatever corresponding card comes up with that. Yeah, oh my God. So she's been betrayed in some way, perhaps, or had some betrayal or deception in her life. Uh, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. She might also be putting on a brave face to the divine masculine. So he's sensing or has had a conversation with her regarding this stuff that she's going through. Um, and it seems to me that um, she, she might be wearing a false self mask, but also has had a lot of people wearing false self masks in um, her life as well. So it's really interesting that's coming up here because it shows that she is strong in many ways, but she's also got a lot of anxiety around this as well. Um, so he does see that she's got some battles ahead or currently going through. I just wanted to see, because, you know, I like to, I mean, there's a certain thing that I normally do for these readings, but because certain uh, strong messages come through, I just want to see what it is that he needs to sacrifice in order to kind of move forward with the Divine Feminine. What does the Divine Masculine need to sacrifice at this time in order to move forward with the Divine Feminine? What does he need to make changes with, perhaps? Hmm, interesting. Okay. <clears throat> right, let's have a look. So I'm going to have a look at what this is around. So he needs to be able to learn how to express himself. I'm just going to do something. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so he's he's just got to um, learn to express himself. There's something that he's holding back with at the moment or has issues expressing himself. So he's... It's to do with conflict and defeat. I feel like this Divine Masculine has often... Um, yeah, this is so interesting. He's very headstrong. And I feel also that when it comes to relationships, this is the soulmate connection, spiritual union, um, being reversed, it shows that he hasn't done well in relationships. It feels to me that he needs to let go of something to do with past pain in his relationships it could be well you know we're looking at the soulmate connections here it's usually romantic but it could be any soulmate connection it could be someone that he's had a strong connection with in the family or it could be a past lover whatever it is there's some conflict that he needs to let go of there's something he definitely needs to let go of to be able to move forward with the divine feminine like we saw before uh with the planting the seeds and and embarking on that journey with her he needs to be able to learn to communicate when there is conflict within himself. Um, maybe there's been extreme, um, you know, harsh communication between himself and somebody in his family or a past lover here. It does look like this is something he needs to let go of as well. Um, so this is really interesting because we've also got the truth card, which is the judgment card, and it is about cold, hard truths coming up. And maybe he is feeling in this time of, you know, restlessness, um, that he is still trying to overcome something that has affected him from his past. He might need to go and get counselling. Um, there's something he needs to get off his chest and speak about here. Um, and it is the truth. There's truths coming up for this divine masculine. Um, and it says the waiting game. So in other words, he's still dealing with something that he needs to let go of. And it is a waiting game because it's showing that he, even though he's moving towards the divine feminine, it's very slow at this time. It's a slow process because when we saw before, he's in his solitude. He's in the place of solitude. Um, and yeah, he's, he's happy to grow a friendship with the divine feminine, not to say there's no romantic feelings there at all, um, but there's definitely something that's draining his energy and he needs to go away and think about something and make a decision to let something go so that he can have and fulfill a life with the Divine Feminine. Just want to see what else comes up with that. There might be some truths that he doesn't want to see that he's having uh, difficulties in seeing too. So it says engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This is what he wants to move forward to is an, uh, you know, a commitment with the divine feminine. So it is something that he's serious about, but he's just having this obstacle here, this blockage here to actually overcome, to move forward. 
Um, and so it looks to me like he's going around and around in his mind at the moment trying to process something. Um, but this is what he wants. And it could also be an issue where he was engaged to somebody or there was a commitment with somebody where it was quite strong for him. He was sure that this was the person and then it just, you know, shit hit the fan basically. So it kind of has warped his mind, warped his mind in terms of committed relationships and how they kind of work out. Now, so let's have a look then at how he feels towards the Divine Feminine right now. Oh, got two there. So how he's feeling, here we go. <clears throat> so emotional withdrawal being reversed shows that he's not necessarily withdrawing from the divine feminine. He's doing it within himself um, or needs to, as we saw before. He needs to withdraw into himself in a healthy way to overcome all that other stuff we just saw before. But he's not withdrawing from the Divine Feminine. What he's feeling is that he wants to be able to see clearly and have that clarity to be able to move forward into this with her. Um, and also, the transformation is a Scorpio energy. It can represent somebody who, being reversed, isn't let, letting go of the past. And to me, we're talking about how he's feeling towards her. I feel like he doesn't want to let go of her. Um, doesn't want her to, doesn't want to lose her in this connection because he's overcoming stuff from the past. Um, the eight, oh, we're trapped in fear. It's his own negative self-beliefs here going on. So I did see before that he's, you know, in times of where he, if he is taking um, some time out to process, it's not necessarily coming through in a clear way. It might be negative things, you know, thoughts going around and around in his mind regarding stuff and how he can move forward. And he might just have that cloud over his head a little bit. And it could be fear, you know, trapped in fear here. He's a bit scared to, um, he doesn't know what to do. This particular divine masculine is kind of in between. He's, he's wanting to move forward, but he's also stuck in his past. Um, trying to very much let go of it and, um, you know, move forward. So this is what he wants. He doesn't want to let go of the Divine Feminine. He doesn't want to walk away from this. And it feels to me that, yes, he wants to see clearly what he needs to do in order to uh, make it right. He needs to make a decision. Once again, choose wisely. Um, if you're very new in this connection, you might be feeling like, does this person want this with me? Are they going to want to invest anything? Are they wanting to move forward get to know me more is is it exclusive like are we just you know is he seeing me or he, you know i'm saying he for the divine masculine is he seeing me or is it other people or so there's a choices here that he needs to make he needs to stop the delusion um of relationships that's what's also coming through here so he needs to be able to make a, a commitment and a decision with the divine feminine of okay I'm not just going to sit on the fence any longer. I'm going to either jump in or I'm going to just, you know, mull over this stuff for ages and it just becomes stagnant. So he's got a choice there. Wow. So we got rest and rejuvenate as well. Oh, my God. The same exact words, different decks. This is so weird. <laughs> rest and rejuvenate reversed as well. Oh, my God. So this is just, once again, showing us that he is doesn't want to withdraw from the divine feminine but he knows he needs to so there's definitely something that he knows he needs to make a decision with he needs to confront and face it um because he's already this divine masculine has already invested some parts with the divine feminine he's already put like grounded you know it's that strong foundation they've already planted the seed for a, a strong path um forward but at the same time he's undergoing some stuff and he's a little bit worried about how that's going to develop in the connection. All right, we're going to see what corresponding card comes up with that one. How he's feeling. Okay, honeymoon and flirt. <laughs> So besides all that stuff, he actually still wants to um, flirt with the Divine Feminine, keep it lighthearted, um, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. He might even want to go away with you somewhere. He, even though he's got all that heavy stuff going on 
and um, doesn't want to lose the divine feminine, doesn't want it to fuck up basically, mind the language, but this is what it's like, okay? So he wants to move forward, but he's kind of like sitting on the fence at the moment, but he's definitely committed. It's kind of a contradiction going on here. He's committed to this. He wants to move forward. Um, he's strong in this. There's a strong foundation moving forward. He's about to jump in, it feels like. But fear holds him back. But this is this is also how he's feeling towards the divine feminine. He might want to travel with her. He might want to go away. He might want you know wants to flirt with her. Um, feels really good in her presence. Let's have a look at his challenges right now. What are his challenges? We do. We are seeing that already, pretty much. I think I have to do that again. Mm-hmm. Yep, that one. Ah, oh. oh, yeah, we've got two. There we go. So, wow, he's got a fair few stuff here. Oh, my God. He's got a fair few things here. So spiritual strength reversed. This is somebody who needs to take a rest once again, recover. He's finding it really hard to do this. He's finding it hard. I'll tell you what it is. He's finding it really hard to go within and be still because when he's still and goes within, he has to confront his fears. And that shows that he's got healing to do. There's something he has to face once and for all in order to move forward with the divine feminine fully into a really you know, strong, committed relationship. He's struggling to find this spiritual strength. He might be moving away from his spirituality and being too much caught up in his, um, in his mind. Um, also, in his material world, we've got deception and envy. He's, he's had a hard time being betrayed in his past as well. We did see that he also sees this with the Divine Feminine. So some of you could, could be mirroring each other where um, you've both had de deception or um, you know past pain, where there's been betrayals. Um, and the deception too for him is that he's trying to be transparent but he's hiding away it's not necessarily a real bad thing it doesn't show that he's doing anything wrong to the divine feminine or doing anything really wrong behind the scenes but he is hiding himself away we've got the mask there so it, it just shows that he might be hiding his true self right now because he's afraid to come forward and we've got this in the sexual realm here with the sacral chakra uh, it's to do with personal relationships, creativity, sexuality, and that's reversed. So there might be a bit of a block there. Um, not to say that you guys aren't intimate with each other, but there's definitely something that is a challenge for him regarding, and I'll tell you what it is, <laughs> his heart chakra. Okay, these two combined means that this is a person who falls in love. They want the sexual intimacy, but not just physical. They don't want it just casual or physical. They want to have the emotions connected with this. And this div divine masculine, I feel, is a very spiritual person when he's, he's very sensitive and open to this it, when he's not closed off to this, if that makes sense. So obviously. Um, but this divine masculine is um, afraid, I feel, to feel these things so deeply because perhaps he has in the past and it's really it just ruined him in some way um, or affected him in some way because we've got heartache and loss so it's very hard for him there's still something he's overcoming it feels um, he wants to let go of and it's the pain that was inflicted on him through betrayal um, and as I said it could be uh, definitely in this connection or these readings here it feels connected to intimacy romantic uh, connections that kind of thing uh, he might feel he doesn't have the spiritual strength to go through another connection with somebody, uh, even though he wants to. Um, there's that dilemma. So we've got stand your ground, somebody who's very strong, um, def like defending their position, um, and he's trying to overcome that, uh, trying to bring the guard down. He gets defensive, he closes off um, because of the past stuff. And... It just shows that he's going to bring his, you know, he, he wants to. He wants to bring his guard down because he doesn't want to. He realizes that you're a different person. The divine feminine is a different person, but he's still trying to overcome the pain from the past or the shock of it. So 
So this could be the one. It's a special message for him. So you've already met the part, the romantic partner you seek. He actually knows this. He knows that the divine feminine is a perfect fit for him, and that you know this could be the actual soulmate or twin flame for him. He he feels it. And that's probably why he's also trapped in his fear. It's not just because of past stuff, but because of the intensity of this connection between the two of you, the energy, um, the fact that he's aware of that. Now, let's have a look now at what am I doing? Yeah, what, what am I doing? Um, yeah, I want to have a look at. Yeah, I, hang on. I just want to have a look at this card here. Positive cards for him. Oh, we've got three here. So we've got soulmate, sad woman, and not this time, which is so interesting. So saying positive cards, it can be positive. Sad feminine, this is a sad feminine energy, um, and soulmate. So perhaps, you know, this is somebody he might have had to say goodbye to, someone who did want this with him, and it's just not the right time in this lifetime, perhaps. Um, but also the divine feminine might be closing a door at this moment too. She might also be... Um, heartbroken about leaving something behind or closed off to this divine masculine at the moment. We need to see what's going on with the divine feminine regarding this, I feel, because she's perhaps been really hurt by somebody as well. It's interesting that this is coming up within him. And also what I get, it's so weird, but what I get with this also is that duality within himself, there's a feminine side and a feminine aspect, which is that receptive side. It's being able to receive and so what he's done is he's closed that off. It's that side of himself that he's closed off as well, um, you know, to this connection. That's probably what the guard is up for um, because his masculine side wants to plant the seed and move forward um, and take action. But his feminine side is saying, no, nah, I've been hurt. I'm, I'm pained. Um, I don't want to give anymore. Don't want to nurture a connection. So it's kind of like a catch-22 going on there. That's, that feels like more the message than the Divine Feminine. I was a little confused there, but it does make a lot more sense. But we will see what's going on for her. So what does he want to see in this connection? What does he want to see? Um, what does he want? You know, what does he want? What does he want? We did see this before, but I like to, to make it, uh, yeah, bring it out more. Bring the message out. Confirm it, perhaps. Okay, let's see. What does he want? What does he actually want? Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, here we are. So, emotional loss. He wants to heal this pain that's within his heart. Um, he wants, yeah, heal the, men heal the mental conflict that he's in right now. Um, because it feels to me that when he opens up emotionally, his mind just takes over and he freaks out. He's freaking out about something here because this also means someone has to make a connection. I'm oh, not a connection, sorry. <laughs> a decision. Has to make a decision in order to make a connection, perhaps, that, that heart connection, heart-to-heart -heart connection. So then we've got the material... Uh, no, sorry, it's the memories of love. So it's definitely to do with a past issue. Uh, this is somebody who's... Looking at the memories in the past, it's a nostalgic feeling. But being reversed, I feel like it's not necessarily a happy memory. It's given him, um, it's like, he too, like it's a to and froing of energy here. It's like he's in and then he's out. He's in and then he's out and he's not sure. He's unsure of his emotions. He doesn't trust his own emotions uh, at times. So then we've got the partnerships and alliances reversed. He's not really sure anyone really would want to, move forward with him while he's like this but what he wants because we're looking at what he wants he wants to overcome these things obviously he wants to let go of it wants to be able to move forward wants to move forward with the divine feminine partners you know to do this together um and also yeah once again it's the three another three moving forward strong um being recognized for who he is not the pain he's gone through God, this is amazing. Far out. He wants to release anything or any attachments that he has towards his ex. 
So the time has come to clear his energy. This is what he wants, is to clear the energy away from any ex-partners that have left him feeling that pain, um, have left him feeling unsure about love, about life, about who to trust. He wants to release all that energy connected with his exes. Um, and there might be one in particular that he's really thinking about with that because they may have um, really brought him down. Yeah, torn him to shreds, you know, that kind of thing, or manipulated him so much that he just lost himself in the connection. Um, and he lost himself. Yeah, he's lost himself. So that's what he fears is that if he does emerge and show his true self, is that going to be... Um, is that going to happen again? So we have, uh, what action will he take towards the Divine Feminine this month? Even with all this stuff going on. Because this is internal stuff. It can be deep. Might not even be fully on his conscious mind, in his conscious mind. This is um, <clears throat> sometimes... He still wants to move forward with the Divine Feminine. He's having great, you know, closeness with her. There's just this other stuff he's overcoming. So passion ignited. He wants to, well, this can be sexuality as well. This chemistry here, it's passion. So he's going to perhaps take that move forward towards the Divine Feminine. Um, but, then, but then we see positive movement forward, which means it's going to be slow. It's being reversed. Usually this means it's very fast energy coming in. And what he's doing is he's feeling this in the moment. Um, he's sitting in the feeling. He's not necessarily rushing in with this. Yes, there's passion, but he's holding back as we see. Um, he's taking authority, like leadership over his own uh, life. See how he's got his arms folded, which is interesting, because it can represent a defensive stance, someone who is guarded and protecting themselves. Um, so he's definitely in that kind of energy, but at the same time, he's moving into, um, a, what is it? A, um, an energy of someone who really knows what they need to do, knows what they want, has to take control, take responsibility, um, for his shadow self. Makes so much sense. These cards. Wow. Yeah. This is someone who's very strong coming in. It's the emperor, someone who, um, you know, makes things happen. This is the Aries energy as well, as well as the moon is the Pisces. Yeah, wow. So we've got the fire and the water. He wants to take charge of his emotions. He wants to take control of his emotions um, and move more into his intuitive side. So it looks like he will because we're talking about the action he's taking He's going to be working behind the scenes, taking control of his stuff behind the scenes, the invisible realms, moving into his intuitive side, um, which is also Pisces. Oh, my God. The moon and the intu uh, high priestess are Pisces. So it definitely could be a masculine that's a Pisces or an Aries. Um, and he really wants to move forward towards this strong foundation. This is the twin flame card in some decks. And it's about being able to be on the same page um, living that parallel life together rather than kind of being off, you know, off um, imbalanced, off balance. So what he wants to do is move into this, but he's taking it very slowly. Um, he's trying to build his own foundation, let alone move into it with the Divine Feminine right now. So this is the action he's taking is that he's not necessarily moving into this happy, strong connection or family life with the Divine Feminine. It might be way too soon. Um, but it's not to say he doesn't want that, but he's just taking it very slow, learning to trust in his own spiritual self and intuition again. Because in the past he thought he was trusting in his intuition um, and it just didn't work. Something really bad happened um, and, yeah, it just hasn't worked for him. So he's a little closed off right now um, to, to do with that. Now let's have a look at what he wants to say to the Divine Feminine right now. What does he want to say? What's this one? <laughs> time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So that's so interesting because we did see before that maybe he's not stopping and taking that time out to think about things clearly and make a decision, even though he knows he has to. He has to stop running away from that fear of looking in 
to um, his life and, and confronting his fears. But it's saying time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. He might be really, he, because he knows he's aware of these issues that he's got that might be stopping him or blocking him from really fully opening up to this connection. He, um, because he's running away, might be trying too hard to make it work without doing the internal work, um, even though he knows he has to. So it's just saying, give it time, be patient. So he's probably telling the divine feminine, because it's a higher self talking to her, this is his message to her, is that he needs some time to deal with his stuff. And, and that's pretty good. You know, that's good. If he's able to actually say that to her, that's even better. Um, because I feel like, you know, sometimes things can be misinterpreted when they're not spoken. He's, he's learning to express himself um, and wants to let go of all that stuff from the past where when he has expressed himself or if it's been harsh, you know, communication with the divine feminine, he's afraid to move into that again uh, with the new connection. So it looks positive though. What I want to see is what is his special card, you know, here as well. We'll see what the Whispers of Love cards have to say. What are his special messages here? What is his special message? So it says physical touch is important. So it says for some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. So for him, he needs to have physical contact. It's important that both of you do this, that you hug each other or, you know, just be able to touch or hold hands or something. Even if you're not sexually intimate, you know, it's about being able to just be there, show affection. I feel like he needs that at the moment. Um, and he, yeah, he definitely needs that right now is that physical touch because he has felt for a long time very guarded, possibly closed off to that as well. So this looks like it's going to be okay. It's just a slow process, guys. We're going to look at the Divine Feminine. Now, what's going on with the Divine Feminine? We're going to have a look at her current energy. Um, not current energy, sorry. The main theme for her this month. What is the main theme for this Divine Feminine this month? Perhaps what she might be focusing on or what she needs. So we've got the sun, which is so interesting because we saw that the Divine Masculine, the first card that came up for how he's perceiving her was the sun. So interesting, she's got the sun energy around her. It can be youthful energy. It can be that she's illuminating stuff in her life. It could be that she's just shining her light. It could be children around her that she's focused on. We're going to get more into this right now, but it's a very positive card. It shows expansion, illumination, that kind of thing going on for her in her life. Now, there might be something in particular that she's illuminating. So let's have a look then at what her current energy is and all those other things that we saw before with the Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine. Oh, God, help us. <laughs> oh, man. Seriously. Does this a lot, but we'll get there. God, that flew out. I just want to see what it is. Okay, this is interesting. Win or lose, which is all about the ego. It's about um, conflict, arguments. It's probably the worst card you can get in the deck, but it doesn't have to be the worst. You know, it doesn't have to be so bad. Um, it just means that ment in her mental um, state right now, there might be a lot of stuff that she's sorting through. But because she's got the sun energy, she is illuminating this stuff. She's illuminating um, and working out, do I hold on to something or do I let it go? Am I going to win in this situation? Is it going to be a power trip or am I going to let it go? Now, that could be with the Divine Masculine or it could be with someone else entirely. It could be her own in the internal stuff that's going on that she needs to just work out, okay, am I going to hold on to this and fight for something, you know, tooth and nail for this and just because I want to win or am I going to let something go? Oh, 
And that is so bloody interesting. Sorry, it's got to stop. <laughs> because he saw her before with the sun and then the justice card. So there's definitely something for this divine feminine where she's either going through a legal issue or there's some uh, connection with somebody that she's undergoing some real conflict with that she needs to either hold on to um, or let go of. All right. And that doesn't have to fit with all of you. It's probably just a special message for some of you watching. It doesn't have to fit with all of you. Right, let's have a look. That didn't work out. Let's do it again. Ah, oh, they're hard to do, these ones. All right, so let's have a look at her current energy. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting because he had her sun card reversed, which means that there's something that's drawing her energy away from her, or it could be that her light's dimming. This could be something that's really important where she needs to now take a stand and move into the spotlight, and maybe she's just, you know, not sure what to do with that. Do I hold on and, and fight for something, or do I just let it go? Um, it's really interesting. So the joy and stability reversed shows that she's not feeling extremely joyful or stable in her life. She's not feeling that um, everything's happy, happy, joy, joy. You know, it's like in her mind, in her heart space, in her spirit, it feels like things have been turned upside down for her in a particular area. It could be that it's it could be um, family related stuff here as well could definitely be with her own children or grandchildren or other people's children whatever it is it could be something very much around children because the sun card's very in line with children this is the family card you know strong foundations family uh, celebrations rewards that kind of thing it's not coming in and we've got the sadness and isolation so she's definitely in her mind um finding it like there's a bit of a, a torment torment going on so it's really interesting it feels to me that this divine feminine is feeling tormented that she doesn't have this foundation or strong foundation and stability in her life in a particular area it looks like it's in her material world she's waiting for something she there's some um Mm, there's some aspect to this divine feminine's life where she's awaiting results. She's awaiting news. She wants to hear something back um, and it might be delayed. There's something she needs to just let go of and feel safe with within herself to know she can move forward and be have the stability and celebration in her life. It could be finances. It could be relationship stuff, you know, past relationship stuff, family stuff. She's losing her energy in this. The solar plexus chakra being reversed shows that she's maybe not that confident in moving forward and going into the spotlight, shining her light, illuminating something for what it is. Maybe she's trying to, um, for some of them, there might be secrets that she's trying to bring forward um, and doesn't know what to do about it. So she's undergoing some turmoil um, within herself and trying to find balance in her material world between her job and you know her, her um, family life and her career, her um, leisure times. You know, it just feels to me that there's something that's really imbalanced here within her. Even though it's so interesting because a masculine saw that she's quite strong and balanced, but she's losing energy in a particular area um, or dimming her light in some area. Um, yeah, there's definitely something she needs to heal from and purge finally from her life. Let's have a look at what that's to do with or what card can what can this tell us okay they flew out so I'll take them so this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek and releasing your ex oh my god <laughs> this is so in line with the divine masculine far out so her t turmoil and torment is probably because she's also been through a past and, and uh, some of them might be undergoing a divorce or a settlement or some kind of legal battle. It could be over the children. Um, and this will only resonate with some of you. Um, some of you might be finding it really hard to release the ex um, because... You realize this person that you're with now is the one and you're finding it really hard to move forward because of the pain you've been through in the past. And some of you feel like because we saw that justice card coming in, um, some of you feel like it was a real 
uh, injustice what this person did to you and you're holding on to it tooth and nail you know you want to fight you want to fight this person tooth and nail and so it's showing that this could be the one this person that you're with you know already is the romantic partner you fit into and with um, but there's these other aspects that are really getting in the way and that's so damn interesting because you're both doing the same thing oh my god so let's have a look what is um yeah, that's it. How does the Divine Feminine, um, how is she perceiving the Divine Masculine right now? No, I don't feel right. I'm going to do it again. Hang on. Oh, jeez. Doing well today. Right, let's have a look. So, okay, rest and consider. Rest and reconsider. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so funny. Because what she sees him, she sees him as having to rest and reconsider. He needs to take some time out to recover from a journey before jumping in. And that is so bloody interesting because that's what we saw in his cards is that he needs to rest and reconsider. He needs to um, go within and process something. Uh, to be able to move forward again on his, on the journey. He, he's, oh, this is so interesting. She sees that he's um, not extending his heart out right now. He's not sharing the love, right? It doesn't mean that he doesn't feel anything or hasn't cemented anything in um, with the Divine Feminine in terms of, you know, that she's kind of like the one for him and he wants to move forward. But she sees that he's not necessarily um, giving his all to her um, at this time. And that he is ready to embark on this journey. He is got his arms uh, wide open, like she sees that he is waiting for this the good to come into his life. That he's about to embark on an amazing journey. Um, you know that there's balance, there's uh, a lot of creativity, there's there's this ability to um, show the world what he's made of, and. It's almost like a come at me. I've dealt with so much shit. Come at me. <laughs> you know, come on. Bring it all. All you've got. Bring it on. It's kind of like this defiant stance that he might be standing in as well, which is so interesting because this is so bloody different. The the um, description of this card, the definition is so different to what I've just tuned into there. But this is what she's feeling and seeing with him is that he's needing to rest and reconsider, go through his stuff that he's, you know, trying to process through from the past, um, and you open his arms wide to the universe to allow the good things to come in. But, you know, once again, reversed, giving and receiving. He's not able to have that flow of energy of being able to perhaps give what the divine feminine can give. Um, or, yeah, it's kind of like at the moment he's not open, it's not flowing. So, yeah, I feel like it can. If he's dealing with this stuff, it can. But she sees that, yes, he wants to embrace it, but he's closing off. Um, also the third eye chakra, he might not be seeing things clearly. Um, well, no, it's not reversed. I feel like what she sees is that he does see what he needs to do. He does have some clarity to a degree on what he needs to do to reach this well-deserved reward, his own journey. He's working hard on himself. It's that solitary number once again, where he's working hard on himself, building his empire, could be his career life that he's more focused on. Could even be just whatever he's doing in his own material world. Could be building his house. Could be going out there and um, traveling. Something that he's doing on himself that's helping him to grow in himself. And it's in the material world. But she sees that, yes, he's definitely focused on himself, his own life, getting himself sorted, getting himself together. But he's not necessarily able to or um, has a capacity to really open up to her fully and give to her fully. So she does see that, which is interesting because she is seeing exactly what's going on for him right now. Keep an open mind and make the effort. So what she sees is that he is keeping an open mind um, about this. Like I don't see that he has such narrow 
it, like what am I saying? Like he's not narrow minded, doesn't have that kind of like tunnel vision of how things need to be. Um, he does make an effort. He actually does make an effort. So he's not fully closed off to the divine feminine. I mean, it's a new connection. He is feeling some deep things here. He knows that she is a perfect fit for him. He wants to see where it goes and, and jump in, but he's scared to. Um, but she sees that he can keep an open mind um, regarding, you know, relationships and connections and that he sees that she's quite different perhaps from the exes that have hurt him before. So she can see that he um, does realise that, you know, a great love is worth taking the steps he's guided to take into it once he makes his mind up, that is. <laughs> so here we go. So there we are. So let's have a look at what does she feel for him? at this time what does the divine feminine feel towards the divine masculine at this time yeah interesting <laughs> this is so cool so what she feels is even though she's undergoing some stuff i don't think it's as um bad as the divine masculine in terms of being open to him but we'll still see but it says change of focus five reversed shows that this is usually heartache and pain but she's changing her focus well we're hoping that she's changing her focus because it is reversed here um uh, just want to see what else this is oh yeah i do know she's turning it upside down she's she's basically taking the pain and everything that she ever felt and turning it around to realize that this divine masculine is not the same as the past. Once again, they're both kind of mirroring each other in that way. She's seeing that, you know, what she feels is that she wants this balanced connection with him. This is the temperance. This is the harmonious, harmonious connection. This is somebody who's uh, is known as a twin flame card, this one as well, it can, um, where there's um, security, stability, um, this duality between the two of you. It's almost like your souls are merging together. Like she feels this very strong connection with this divine masculine where there's um, a, like a blending in of the souls, like they are very connected, very connected. Um, so there's this balance, there's harmony, there's a flow. She feels like she's met her twin, basically, like her other half. It's almost like she feels like she's being, he's a mirror to her, like he's reflecting back to her herself. And then we see this coming together soulmate connection. She definitely feels that this divine masculine, or feels at least, that uh, he is her soulmate. He is her twin flame or soulmate, um, her life partner. She feels safe with him. There's comfort here. Um, the ability to just get each other. There might be a strong telepathic com like connection there. You just know what each other are thinking or before you say it, that kind of thing. She feels that, you know, this person is giving her clarity and is the light at the end of the tunnel, basically. Somebody that is, um, she sees him in a good light. She sees him in a good light. She feels that he is the person that can come in and just naturally heal aspects of herself that are pained, um, that he is safe to be with and she just feels connected and safe with him at the same time she realizes there's things that he needs to confront but she feels things on a very deep level that maybe she's not even exposing to him like she won't come forward and fully tell him the depths of her feelings then we've got also uh this is the pisces energy once again pisces is coming up sagittarius and the taurus energy so we've got taurus for the commitment also looking at the lessons that this uh, person can bring in i feel like this person's teaching her a lot about herself so let's have a look at the Romance Connection Romance uh, card for this. So it's what she feels, is that she wants to commit to this person. Um, she wants to help him as well as he help her. She wants to express her love to him. And vice versa. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. She does want to express those deep feelings towards him. So let's have a look at what we're we looking at. The challenges that the Divine Feminine faces right now.
Yeah, it's that one. Okay, let's have a look. Right, so we've got the devil card reversed. She's trying to unshackle herself or untie herself from... I don't even know if that's a word, unshackle, but that's how I speak. <laughs> She's trying to untie herself from things that shackle her down. Um, from, you know, past addictions or past pain or her shadow self that's negative. You know, we can have a negative and good side to our shadow selves. But she's trying to master this, this um, energy where she's trapped her heart in as well. Um, so it does feel like she's closed her heart off. So she's trying to overcome that as well and come into this um, new passionate energy, having vitality, having energy to actually move into this having energy to overcome her darkest fears. We did see, it's so interesting, that he saw the Nine of Swords as well for her. Uh, that was that card, Suffering in Silence. There's something that she's going through, um, which has maybe got to do with her past. I feel, well, obviously, it's not in the current connection, I don't feel. It's definitely from a past uh, relationship or something going on there where she's trying to overcome this so it's very hard for her in some ways to gain the energy to release this past stuff and to release the anxiety and the fears of being able to just let go uh, especially if there's legal battles guys that's something very hard to go get through and trust in the process with so refusing to see some parts of herself might be refusing to see things um you know, the, the turmoil that is happening in her life, it can be sometimes the inability to make a decision, remain in denial, um, better off just doing that, you know, digging your hand, head in the sand. Sometimes she might actually do that. She might sometimes get really caught up in her depression or anxiety and allow it to just take over where she can't see any other way out. Um, and because she wants her dreams to come true, obviously, everyone wants their dreams to come true. And she finds it very hard to see the, the light at the end of the tunnel sometimes. Like she sees it, it's very hard to trust that this can occur. She can manifest these things into her life. Uh, for some divine feminines, they may never have really had this. So um, striving for something that they've never had before, it just feels like an illusion at the end of the day. And so the throat chakra reversed shows that she finds it hard to express these she finds it hard to express what she wants because she feels that it'll be um, she's in a vulnerable position if she speaks up that uh, her mind on that. Um, also expressing feelings, that kind of thing once again. Uh, doesn't want to get into that thing of going into the spotlight. The spotlight. It's very hard for her to move forward and put herself first sometimes. So this is something that she's finding challenges with right now. What's the corresponding card to do with those, what I just spoke about? To get three. So forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Well, this is interesting because we're talking about her going or undergoing uh, some kind of pain or torment right now she's needing to cut herself away from could be a codependent connection that she's had with somebody in the past that might have been a toxic codependency uh, addictions once again we saw before with the devil card coming up which was a Capricorn energy sorry I forgot to say um, codependency addictions um, something that might have been a relationship where she felt really addicted to it going back and forth to this particular person finding it um, that she needs to now look at herself and focus on herself and maybe that's what has attracted this divine feminine to her is that she's finally got herself out of this and is now into this energy where she's enjoying her moment she's knowing herself she's not focused so much on this or in this heavy kind of energy um, but she still needs to heal and release these kinds some aspects of this actually she does now let's have a look at what does the Divine Feminine want from this connection? But I just wanted to see some special cards first up. Angel protection. So her loved ones in spirit are coming in. Like she's got a guardian angel around her, giving her comfort. Oh, 
Oh, that's so interesting. Because before we saw that he could see that she was sad and it wasn't the right time for something. And that is very interesting because we see now what's going on for her. But then we see also on a positive note, pure contentment. And that comes from being able to focus on herself and knowing that she is supported, even in the spiritual realms as well, that there is support there for her. And uh, let's have a look. So we are going to have a look at what she actually wants from this connection right now. This is really, really interesting, guys, <clears throat> because we have the sun first up right here. <laughs> so she definitely feels the warmth and sees the light in her divine masculine. She's also got the light, obviously, within herself. I mean, she's got the sun surrounding her. He sees her as the light. He sees her as the sun energy, the warmth in her. Um, she wants this from the connection, this warmth, this connection um, where it is just beautiful it's it's a soul connection here i know it's the heart chakra there or it could be the solar plexus but we are looking at the energy of illumination expansion it's positive she wants it to be a positive connection she wants to move into this trust the new beginning she wants to be able to just soar into it fly into it you know see how it's really interesting to me they're both feminines they've both got their arms wide open and their eyes closed and just surrendering to the actual connection or you know to the divine to the to the divine source the energy whatever it is but in this connection um she's wanting to surrender to it and trust and embrace it um and so we got love of bounds reversed she wants to be able to trust in this new beginning this is also self-love but it's a spiritual love we got that light coming in the golden light again coming in it's anchoring into this uh what could be earth but it looks like to me it's the it's the water it's the emotions anchoring the light into the emotions seeing being able to see clearly um uh, what's going on in this connection being able to it's so interesting because they've got their eyes closed but they're they're jumping in with trust so she still wants to see the spiritual connection um anchoring the light and the love into this um connection doesn't just it's a special thing it's not just moving into something casual or just for the sake of it or just seeing how things go. She wants this to be really special. She knows it's special. She knows that this person um, perhaps has had a past life with her in some way or they've met up in some uh, parts of their life together in this lifetime where they just, you know, might have been together years ago. Um, might have been to together, not even years ago, but might have been together uh, in the past at some stage. And it might not have been in a romantic connection. Maybe you've known each other before um, because this can be talking about returning love, can be happy, happier memories. Um, it's somebody who's feeling really um, kind-hearted. There's generosity. There's happier times to focus on here. And this is what she wants to build as well because we are talking about jumping into a new connection, fully committing to this, um, opening up the heart chakra, expanding that um, being able to be free to express. That's what she wants in this. She wants to detach from the dramas from her past, to bring in peace now, let go of the old rigid patterns, let go of that that is free, frozen over. Uh, she now wants to move away from that cold past and move into, once again, the light, into peace. Um, detach, which is the liberant energy. It is objective. It's able to be neutral, um, but also fair, so she wants to move into a connection that is fair, something that is pure and um, true for her. This is the Libran energy, the uh, Leo energy. And we've got the sac sacral chakra, which is all about sexuality once again. So she definitely wants to have this very strong spiritual connection, but also connected with the emotions here, just like the divine masculine wants as well. Um, let's have a look at another card here. So she wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and express the feelings that I think before, um, and I'm trying to remember now, but I think there was something about her expressing herself or expressing feelings. 
Uh, but this is what she wants. She wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart com uh, conversation. Something that's... Um, she wants to be able to have this because I feel in the past she hasn't been able to have that give and take, that uh, flow of energy back and forth between herself and somebody. And it feels because uh, she's not on the same page as someone. There's been uh, turmoil for her, mental torment in that way that somebody is just not... They're closed off to her or not giving to her in any way. They're not, uh, it could be an unrequited love. Whatever it is, there's just the other person or the other party who just wasn't there for it, wasn't present, wasn't in it fully. Um, so this is what she wants with this person is to know that she can jump in and trust to be able to do that, to detach from the past, detach from the fear um, of moving into something that's meaningful and deep. And we've got children here as well. So... Love life is being affected by children. Maybe this divine feminine, some of you will resonate, might actually want children. I mean, the sun card represents children as well. Um, there could be some of you that want a family and you want to, and you feel like you've met the right person for this, um, the right masculine, you know, to come in and provide that for you. It could be that some of you do have children already and you're wondering how you're going to blend families. Could be some of you that have children um, and you might be having some issues with them. It could be that there is some um, issues that you have with a child or, you know, it could be that some of some divine feminines are undergoing a lot of legal issues with their children, need some advice, you know, that kind of thing. There's definitely something there to do with the children, heart to heart conversations, wanting to. It's interesting. We see the father and son here as well. And it looks to me like there's definitely. Um, a feeling to nurture the connection, to mature together as well through your life lessons. Now, let's have a look at what action, I was going to say, what action will the Divine Feminine take towards the Divine Masculine this month? So she's going to be sitting back, pausing, reflecting, observing at this stage. There's still things that she is going through at the moment, so she can't necessarily just jump in. She wants to as well. Um, and when I say this, guys, it doesn't mean that you guys haven't jumped in already. We're talking about new connections where it is light, it is fun, it is happy. There are butterflies, you know, that kind of thing. But some of you might be undergoing some stuff from the past that might even be coming up for you. Um, that you didn't even know about and might be trying to, you know, process stuff right now as well. Um, it could be for either of you. But there's this definite need to sit back and observe. She's not able to manifest anything right now in the physical with the Divine Masculine. So it might be that she can't build a life with him right now because he's holding back too, don't forget. So it's, it's not just what she's doing, but also she's um, got limitations. They both do. They both have limitations depending on what the other one's doing. Um, so yes, she can't embrace uh, this fully right now, arms wide open, can't embrace this right now. She's got no choice but to sort of sit back at the moment and just um, sort through her own stuff, but also sees that the Divine Masculine is going through some stuff there as well. Um, so finds it hard to manifest, finds it hard to embrace things within her own world at this time. Um, I think they're both reversed if I remember. And so then... Um, She's trying to find out where she fits in the world as well. Maybe there's some parts of her that she's lost, trying to um, move forward in a way of being able to feel confident and free um, and strong in her own self, uh, trying to find her own inner light to shine that. Um, you know, opportunity beckons. Maybe I feel with this divine feminine um, that there might be an opportunity that she's missing so she's got to be careful because the action she's taking is that at the moment she's kind of like withdrawn a little bit here, um, trying to trying to get her um, feet on the ground. She's trying to ground her energy. She's trying to not hide away and because this stuff, whatever it is that she's dealing with, might be taking over a lot of her life at the moment, her uh, affecting her 
ability to make a decision or just to be, be herself, relax, you know, that kind of thing. So at the moment she might be a little bit insecure, feeling really uh, uh, that instability in her life, finding it hard to release the past and stuff like that. We did see that she had to make a choice whether to hold on to something or let go of something. So this is the transformation. She is going to release this. This is the action, what she's taking. At the moment, she needs to observe and make a, a good decision. She needs to go away, process stuff. It's not time yet to embrace um, that full cycle. She's still trying to find, um, well, some parts of her journey is still uh, incomplete. She needs to be able to um, you know, really tap into her emotions as well as her spiritual insight into this um, issue that she's going through and release it, heal from this, transform the energy into something so that she can move into a love connection that's equal, okay, with the divine masculine. So there's a Gemini energy there, Scorpio energy here, um, Aries. So, yeah, what I see is that with this is the love, commitment. They're on the same page. They're in love, um, but she's unable to right now. Both of them can't fully run, uh, jump into this and feel this without other stuff getting in the way from either side. You know, either both of them have something they're dealing with that is uh, just preventing this to fully blossom and grow into this beautiful, full, committed relationship right now. But it's not a bad thing. It just means that each of you have to sit back and really work on stuff. Still have to work through something. Um, let's have a look at what uh, the Divine Feminine wants to say to the Divine Masculine. Oh, there it is. Oh, gosh. Oh my God, this is crazy. This just flew out on the ground. It says, time, you are trying too hard, give it time. He had the same exact message. Oh my God, this is weird. This is weird, but not weird, because I shouldn't be surprised with these kinds of readings. Give it time, he's telling her. She's telling him, give it time. He's telling her, give it time. You're both on the same page with that. You both realize that, yes, we want to be together. There's something really special here. We want to move forward and... and you know, cemented in, like we've already built the foundation, but before really jumping in and giving it, it you know, giving um, everything to it, that we need to do stuff. We need to work out stuff within ourselves first. So let's have a look at what else there is for the Divine Feminine to know or that the Divine Masculine needs to know about the Divine Feminine, what she needs. Because we saw before that he needs that physical touch. What does the Divine Feminine need? What does the Divine Feminine need? So love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security self-worth and importance she needs that uh, I feel like she needs stability and security within this connection with the divine masculine she needs to know that he's withdrawing doesn't mean he's like leaving the connection <laughs> because we saw before that he doesn't he needs to withdraw and some of them will be withdrawing but not necessarily using that time for the positive they might be going over and over in their heads the negative stuff um, but what she's seeing is that, um, what she needs is that when he's doing that, that, um, she needs to be able to trust too, that he's doing that for his own healing and everything like that as well. Um, but I think that he comes in like a healer for her. And I, I hate saying that because I don't think anybody can really heal or, you know, do anything for us, but it can definitely help us and support us. Everybody has to, has to do their own healing but I feel like with this Divine Feminine, she really feels secure and safe when she's with the Divine Masculine and he's able to provide a sense of security for her. Um, so this is what she actually needs as she's undergoing this other stuff within her mind or past things that are coming up for her, whatever it is that she's going through those challenges. She just needs to know that he's there for her. It's interesting we've got the blue flowers, which is representative of the chakra, the throat chakra, um, which is all about expression. So she perhaps needs the Divine Masculine to um, come forward and express, like be able to talk 
through things with her because we did see she wanted to see a heart-to-heart conversation with him happening. She needs that uh, communication going on. Um, Also wants to be able to express herself to him when she can without feeling that he's closed off to her. So it's a really important thing here. Love does make the difference. Um, It can help heal the past hurts and provide that sense of security, self-worth and importance that she doesn't necessarily feel within herself right now. She's trying to gain that confidence, as we can see with the Sun card here, that there is some aspect of herself that uh, is afraid to move into this for whatever reason. So I hope that's helped you guys. It does look quite positive. Might not have been what you wanted to hear as such, but this is a journey. And with all journeys, there is can be ups and downs, but it can all turn out really beautiful in the end. Uh, My voice is going, so I've got to go. Love and blessings to you all. I look forward to connecting with you next time.